What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going to have a look at a photo that has been making its rounds around social media, YouTube. My buddy Joe from Our Alien TV has done the same thing. I'm going to show you the Gigapan that he's put together and then his enhancements. Now, when we get into this, oh, wow, incredible stuff we're going to see in this because there's a lot more hidden in these photos than obviously meets the eye, as I always say. And there's a lot more in here we're going to check out. And you can make your own decisions whether you think this stuff is natural or unnatural. Let's not waste any time. Let's just jump right into it. Okay, you can see it right here. It is from Sol 3549, and this is from the MSL or the Mars Science Laboratory. Of course, this is from Curiosity Rover, right? So again, uh, big thanks goes to Joe for putting this uh, Gigapan together. And you can see he does have some areas marked off. Now, what we're going to look at is this block that's been going around again through the social media. You can see his work here. You can see the original and then the enhanced clip. Now he calls it a block, which I would say the same the second I saw this thing, okay? You can see right here, uh, credit goes to NASA, JPL, Caltech, MSSS, right? Again, he calls it a block. Now, is he wrong? Is everybody who's done this photo or looked at this photo and called it a block, are they wrong? Probably not. And you're gonna see what I mean. Again, let's just jump right into it. So. If we go into this area here, okay, we're going to see this block, and you can see a couple areas he's marked off. Now, you can see it right there. Now, what I do is I took about this area right here and enhanced it, okay? So why don't we just jump right into Photoshop and have a closer look? Okay, here it is. Now, folks, I've said this a million times. Look into the photos, not at the photos, because don't get me wrong, when you first look at this, you go, oh my God, there's a block sitting right there in your face. But is it a manipulation to hide what's there? Is that the only thing that's there? Well, I got news for you. It's not. This smooth hillside in the background, believe it or not, there is five or six things standing up on that. You can't see it. It's the way they manipulate it. It looks smooth, flat, nothing there. A simple 2D. But is it 2D? No. If you enhance it, you bring out the 3D. Now, let me show you some interesting items here. Let's get rid of some of the color. Brighten up a little bit and give a slight sharpen. Let me show you another filter I've done. Okay. Sharpened up as well. Now, here's the thing. Most people don't, again, don't look into these photos. You know, folks, I got to go after the lines. Got to see the lines, right? So, we get the block. We know that. Now, what about this little piece right here to the left of it? I'm going to show you this. I'm going to try to put it right here in the middle screen. So, first thing right here look at the very bottom of this item right there you can see a little, a little piece of white that's not a rock folks that's something they manipulated to look like a rock this one here is wild this other pot because when i saw this i'm going to put it right in the middle of the screen folks how do people not see this there's a plate sitting right here see that you can see it right there it literally and i'll show you this in a little bit it's like square and there's another piece coming off it as well let me show you that in a second. This is crazy as well. This piece. You see that? All right. So when you're looking at that, that doesn't look normal or natural. Look at the pieces on this. Okay. We're going to zoom into this here. Check the little pieces out on it. Like the squares on the side of it. There's kind of like this um, arched small piece on top of it. Looks like it has a pipe coming out of the right hand side of it. What the heck could that possibly be, right? To the left of that. Look at these two stones up here that they're like rectangular stones and they happen to be on top of each other. That's not normal. I'm not saying that can't happen. Don't get me wrong. But what I'm saying is some of the things we've already seen in this photo, clearly it is not natural. Okay. It's being made to look like a stone. This plate right here in the middle of the screen. What are we looking at here, folks? I mean, look at this thing. You can clearly see it's slightly bent and it looks like a flat plate, right? Come on. Look, just underneath in the center of it, there's a round circle thing, just almost into the shade of it, right? This piece here. Off this plate, there's a tiny piece sitting right on the bottom right of it, and you can see it right here. Now, to me, that doesn't look normal. 
It looks like it's an extension of that plate. Okay. So what is it? If you look at that plate, you can also see something right here. Again, folks, we don't have to do much to this thing. And you can see what looks like a 90 degree angle sitting right on the left and above this item. All right there, I'm going to make that corner a little crisp. Check that out. It's right there. Now, folks, when we look at this plate, just look at the shape of it. It almost looks like each side is slightly concaved. You can't see the corner of that, but you can see it doing this. This piece, I believe, is part of it. It's going up like this, coming back down. It goes like this, comes around and goes across. You have what looks like oval from this direction, but I don't believe that it is. It may be completely round. It's just the angle we're seeing at. This item right here. This is pretty neat. Not sure what they even make of this thing. Uh, just off to the center here, right there. This item, I'm not sure what this looks like. It looks like a mini missile. I uh, just set a right of this plate, and you can see it right here. Folks, come on. All right, so many more things, like this right here. You can see this object right here in the very left. It's like a box type thing. Looks like it's doing this. You can see that. How about this white plate with some items underneath? So we have this plate right here, just to the right of that box type thing, and you can see it right here. But there's other objects, folks, right underneath it. And you're going to see this. It's like right just below, right about here. I'm going to bring that out a little bit better. Notice the curled up part of it right here. And I'm just going to do the very left end of it. We're going to come up and go around it right here at the very end. Okay. And it looks like it's doing this. See that? All right. Let me just back out here a little bit. Go up here to the top. How about this part here, folks? This is what's crazy. It almost looks like some kind of weird gear or something along them lines. And of course, this is pure speculation because we really don't know what this stuff is, right? This object right here is clearly not a stone. And you'll see what I'm talking about when we really enhance this. But folks, there's so much more in this photo. You think you're seeing a lot now. This is nothing. This in the background, it looks like some kind of weird parts laying around. And folks, I've always said that these mountains... It's not the sky behind it or another mountain. It's actually been cut off. Um, and you can see that. If you add brightness to it, look at the way it's just cut. See that? If I was to do this, when it's blurry, it kind of looks like it has that, you know, kind of look to it where it's like, well, maybe it is all natural. It's not. All right. So let's do this. Let's get right into this photo. Let's do a full enhancement. And let's see if we can find anything. Folks, so much more. Let me just go into this photo right here at the top. This is what I was talking about earlier when I said that there was objects right here at the very top where it almost looks like it's flat, but it is not. Notice this item right here. It's pretty much in the middle. Of, it looks like three or four objects sitting here, right? You can see right here there's an actual rectangular part in this. Now, keep in mind, this is all fuzzy because we had to work through the manipulation, okay? And you can see that. You can see this small um, rectangular feature. And it looks like some kind of face to a block or something like that. That's not completely straight like I wanted it, but you get the idea. But you can see these objects. We can see this or object. It literally looks like a mini box sitting there. Now, why don't we do this? Let's go back to the original. Slightly brightened up. We're going to bring it down just a little bit. Check this out. You can see that box. I'm going to go back to the original right here. I can still see that. It's still there. Look for the lines. It's the lines we're looking for. In fact, why don't we just change the color back so it's lighter and we can see the lines better and it's a little slightly sharper. See it right there? I'm going to go back and forth. They're there. All of these items are sitting there and they're taller than the actual smooth out area. They want you to believe that there's nothing there, but there is, okay? Now, you can see this plate a little bit better now, slightly better anyway, with that 90-degree angle just above it and the left of it right there, okay? Now, let's back out. All right, let's concentrate on this block here because I think this is interesting. What's between this rock and that other piece I said had this weird little white piece coming out of the bottom. It's just left it as a huge rock. What's between this? Let's have a look. 
Folks, there's something else in here. This block is part of something much larger. Notice the other object here on the bottom where it has little features just at the bottom of the stone. Now, are these folks wrong? No, I believe it's a combination of both. These intelligently made machine parts, whatever they may be, may be part of this block. In other words, this block housed this thing at one point, and now that it's blown to pieces, it's now all over the place. In other words, it's, you know, you can still see the parts going to and from uh, these pieces, right? All right, so again, we have this area right between here, between these two blocks, and I believe somehow they're connected. So this block, if that's what it is, I believe is part of the smaller one to the left. Now let's do the fully enhanced black and white. Notice now we brought up more details in this left rock, a supposed rock from this main rock. Look at this stuff, folks. Pieces coming down. The other ones that were here, you can see it just kind of like a mush. The only ones that came out were these here. And if you notice, they connect to these other lines that are in between these blocks, right? And now we can see right here, if I was to bring this out a little bit better, we can see this right here. There's a white piece in the front, or it should be the rear of the rock. You can see it right there. Look at it. See it? Folks, that's crazy that that stuff's there, right? We have these straight pieces right here. Looks like flat plates. This other item, too, I also mentioned. You can see this, what I call the Indian headdress. Notice there's something that's white and goes down. You can see it doing this. It appears to be going under this straight area, this plate right here. So in other words, this thing may be peeking out of the ground and this, whatever this thing is, again, it's made to look like a bizarre looking rock right there. Now we can see this a little bit better. Again, this little box, folks, we can see these little pieces. Now they have some height to them, right? Right here. Again, look at that piece right there. I'm gonna go back to the color. See it right there? You can still see that rectangular piece. We go back up to three. I'm gonna back up just slightly right there. Folks, look at this. That's crazy. Black and white. It's there. Again, you have to use the magnifier to see these little lines and they're not very clear, which I get. See that? But they're there. It's got some height there, folks. So this is what I'm talking about. There's a lot of crazy things in here that you don't see in the photo when you look at it this way. Look how much stuff disappears. See it? I'm gonna go back and forth. Suddenly there's much, much more. And if I was to do this and put a black and white, so we would have the other colors fooling our eyes. See it? Much, much more in this photo, folks. We have a block right behind this weird piece here. I'm going to put it in the center of the screen. Now we can see this piece right here. I thought it was an actual block. It's not. This is the top piece I was telling you about uh, of this item right here. Check out this piece on the very top of this. Going across. Going down, you see the, the white part of it almost looks like it has this weird arch type shape on it. Again, you'd have to look at this thing with your magnifier. I'm looking at a good size screen here. We have this piece going up. Looks like it's got this weird white piece or cap type thing on it. See that? Comes back down and then comes back like this. Weird, weird stuff. But there it is. All right, I'm going to back out of this, and I'm going to let you folks peruse over this. Have a look yourself. I'm going to do it in the different filters I have, whether it be color. Right here. Let me mention one more thing. Up here, if you notice I, that little triangle is sitting right there, you can see in this back mountain, this supposed back mountain, you can see that, okay? There's something else in here. You can, you can see it in the darkened area here. It almost looks like this weird shape sitting just to the left of that little triangle. But there's something else here, folks, and it's not natural at all. Other pieces sticking up right here. I'm going to put it right here in the middle of the screen so we can have a better look at this right there. 
And you can see where the fuzzy part is right here. Just above and below this, and I'm going to show you this right here. See that fuzzy area is doing this. All down here. Okay, you can see it right there. I'm going to just kind of do a little part of it. I mean, there's much more to it. And then this area here is clear of it. Why? It didn't have the manipulation over it. So by burning through this stuff, it still looks fuzzy, but you can still see some other shapes, such as this piece right here. Notice this piece going right through this darkened area. For what reason, I have no clue. You can see it right there going back out. Almost looks like an L shape or hockey stick kind of shape, right? See that? It's going through this darker area. They're trying to distract your eyes by making half of this thing natural white, and then the rest of it is kind of blacked out. There's a reason for it. Again, you can see all this fuzziness between these stones, these supposed rocks. You can see that they've been trying to hide whatever's between there. All right, so here is the black and white. Have a look. Tell me what you folks think. Right there. Use your magnifiers. Have a look at this. Is a color version right here. Pause it right here and have a close look. Look at all the pieces in the back I didn't even mention. Again, on the right-hand side of this large stone, to the right, you have other pieces sticking up. They look like flat blades of something. Is it stone? Is it steel? What is it? And there you go, folks. Folks, when I first saw this photo of this rock, I laughed. And I thought, man, talk about clever cover-up. It's just, it's bizarre how well they cover this stuff up, right? Just looking at the raw gigapan itself, you don't have to even enhance this thing. And you can see crazy objects, shapes that should not belong on a barren planet. Or at least now it is. At one point it was not. It's one thing to see like a kind of weird plate. Maybe it's a flat piece of rock just sticking out of the ground. You go, okay, I'm cool with that. But then you see another one. It's almost like it comes up with a slant and straight across and then straight back down right next to it. We got a block that has weird shape to begin with. We have that rock on the left-hand side of it. It has like something white sticking out of the bottom of it. It simply makes no sense. When you add all of this, you can't help but to say, okay, clearly the stuff that's laying here, this is absolutely intelligently made. An explosion of a bunch of parts laying all over the place. And you can see that. Folks, did you see something I didn't? Drop a comment down below with a timestamp. Let me know what you see. It's always good to hear what you folks find. So again, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you see. Please like and share the video is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube shares it. Folks got a couple more crazy ones coming up. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.